We're back with legendary voiceover actress and the voice of Bart Simpson and many, many more. Please welcome Nancy Cartwright to the show. Yeah. So many people where you just Thank sort of you. slipped into Bart's voice and about six people just busted up <laughs> laughing yeah. over there. How did you come up with that guy? You know what? I've been doing it for like, thir believe it or not, 33 years professionally. I did it before. Wow. I, yeah. I, I, moved to California in 1978 and started working in about 81. Yeah. So when I started going out and doing things like uh, snorks and pound puppies, the early, you know, Richie Rich, way, way, way back in 81, 82, I found that if I did two or three different voices at an audition, that was my best bet because my idea of 10 years old is my idea. You may have a different idea of that sound. Yeah. But when I went in for Bart Simpson and I met Matt Groening, it was one thing. It was like, blah, 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 boom, you're hired. That's it. Wow. Well, and that, that was it? No was other it? options? You just said, no. What, what, one how? sound and that was it. That was so unusual. It ha it's only happened. I can count on one hand how many times I've done that as an actress. I like to give options, you know? That's a big risk, yeah. isn't it? To go, I'm either 100% uh, in or I'm out. But you know, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. So you just like poker. You just opened, <laughs> all in. You opened yeah, your mouth and Bart just came out? You had no backup in there? That's a great way of saying it. I opened my mouth and out popped a 10 year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets paid to burp and fart. I mean, that is like, what a cool job, right? <laughs> yeah, but now, Bart's not the only voice you do. Uh, you do right. Many, many yeah, others. Yeah, on the show. What yeah. do, who do you all yeah. have on the show? I'm Bart Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson Mandela Muntz. I'm just saying. <laughs> Him, Todd Flanders. I get to anoint their feet. He's the study buddy that lives next door. Ralph Wiggum. Um, when I grow up, I want to be a principal or a caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do. My, my favorite rug rat. My favorite oh, rug Chucky. rat. Chucky. Chucky's my favorite. Yeah. Thank I you. I love him. I don't know any clowns around here. I don't like clowns. <laughs> I love, I love this I love crew. You have the greatest job ever. <laughs> Ever. How do you do? Because you have to act with yourself, I right? Do. There's I a do. lot going on up there, Nancy. Have you had that worked out? I know, like, I know. <laughs> can I help with that? No, I get paid to do all these voices. Do you Very do weird. It, Do you actually do it and then switch to another and then back, or do you have it all in audio? How do you? Do no, that? we just it, it's we do it the way that it's written. When we do a table read on Thursdays, and then Monday I'll go in and we'll re start to record it. We tend to. Do it right from the very beginning and run through the whole scene and the whole show in order. But we kind of have to bounce around a bit. But if it's a scene yeah. with like, do you remember the episode when Bart was down in the well? Yeah. He was Timmy down in the well, and it was like, and Rod and Todd Flanders were like next door, the study buddies, and they're picking him up Everybody's on the bridge. Everybody's back here going, uh huh? Rod, Todd, this is God. <laughs> what are you doing on our radio? What do you mean, what am I doing on the radio? I created the universe, stupid kid. <laughs> Walk through the wall. Ow! <laughs> I'll remove it for you later. <laughs> wow. Is it hard for you to go back and forth with different characters like that? I mean, you do it so well. I'm going to go back to, to when you were recording something. Do you record yeah. one show a week, or do you do two or three of them? It's just one. Many questions for you. Yeah, go no, ahead. it's totally fine. Yeah. It's just it's about one a week, but we we do 22 a year, so there's there's breathing room in there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But we're, we work fairly consistently the whole year because there's post production. The voices come first, and then five six months later I'll go back in to do post-production on that episode so it's taken them about five six months to do all the animation to do all the coloring to do the music sure you know we just had our 550th episode a couple wow. weeks ago wow. with the wow. Lego thing wow. Wow. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you but um that one took uh took extra long time. How do you how do you build this how do you where do you start with a character and, and with a voice right. do you find it where it's placed. Can you take us through just to give us some tips on that? Like um, you know, I tried to teach this. It's it, it, that is a skill for me. I, I like looking at a picture because when even when I look at you and I, I, I kind of look at jaws, mm -hmm. I look at people's teeth and see how because if a kid has got like a split in her teeth. Remember that movie, Mrs. Doubtfire? Yes. Yeah. Right? With Robin Williams. Right. They're a little actress on there. Yes, yeah, um, a little girl. Yeah. Little girl. Yeah. So she had a little split in her tooth. And when she's, and I looked at that, I thought, I can learn from that. She sort of sounded like this. And there was a <laughs> little did. sound. And I can sort of create yeah. that sound myself and come up with a whole new character. <laughs> 
that I've never done before. Yeah, that character has never been hired. I just want to say. <laughs> I'm going to say this Mara, now. Mara Wilson. Mara Wilson. Yeah. That's right. Could you do uh, Mark if you were going to do uh, the voice? Well, I can only. The oldest boy I do is about 14. I don't oh, well, think I can. Oh, well, then he leaves. Way past. I, this is going to sound really weird, but I want you to just at some point come to my house and read me a bedtime story <laughs> yeah. with all of those voices, wow. at, right? Mark, it's that's just, so bizarre you say that. My, I have two kids. They're adults yeah. now, but when I was raising them, I would tell them stories. No, mommy. No, mommy. Don't do. Just be mommy. But, Oh, oh, really? Wow. Oh. How unique, right? Yeah. My, yeah. my own kids were like that, but, you know, they just wanted me to be mommy. Yeah. Well, it's different. Right. So, <laughs> I, look, I, I want to ask you about your organization that you're involved in, which is called okay. Happy House. Yes. Tell us what this is. What, what's the organization? Happy House is a nonprofit organization, and I have a program that's throughout, like, six after-school um, programs like Boys and Girls Clubs, PALS organizations, churches, um, parks and recreation facilities, and it's designed specifically for at-risk kids. It's a character-building program that puts a moral compass there for kids. And to me, it's kind of staggering. I was born in the Midwest, one of six kids, and to me, the idea of growing up without, I just, I personally didn't have that. And so where I'm at right now, I have I found this book called The Way to Happiness, and we've got the youth version of this so these, these kids can learn simple precepts like take care of yourself, do not murder, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. don't steal, be truthful, be faithful, you know, just common sense values to put some truth there for these kids. And they do the program, and there's a whole lesson plan and everything for them. And I get these success stories from these kids saying that they never knew that it was that it wasn't okay to not murder. Right. Because that's their lifestyle. That's all they know. Well, you had to come up with this concept from somewhere. What made you decide you wanted to do this? Gosh, it started back in 2004, and it's the... I don't know. Was I, had, I had read the book, and I just, it just impinged on me quite a bit, and I raised my kids with this way. Yeah. And I look at... If you look at... Um, just look at your own community. I, I don't know where you live, but I'm out in yeah. Northridge, and it doesn't matter where you live. There's problems, and kids, right. yeah. things have just kind of gone downhill a little bit, and parents are really, they're, they're just, they're a bit, I think, a little bit dispersed, trying to put a roof over their head, trying to make sure that yeah. food is on the table and make sure kids are getting what they need, and schools, they have a job to do, and it's tough for them to also includes something like this that has a moral a, a moral value right. to it. Mm -hmm. It's not really their job, but you kind of wish that they would do it, but they're busy doing what they're trying to do. Sure. So sure. it's sort of stepping in for some kids that don't have that. So we're doing a fundraiser at my house. Yeah, I you opened right. up the door. But you, I, you that's do it all your, the time there at your house. Yeah, this is the ninth annual. Right. The oh, ninth annual wow. one, and I'm very good friends with the police, so I'm just saying for anybody that's coming, <laughs> you, know, you can go to my website and find out about it or happyhouse.org, but you know, you can come for 25 bucks or bring your kids because it's poker. It's it's Texas Hold'em style poker. I love it. Which I don't personally play, but I love to I be I was gonna ask you, are you were a gambler of any sort? No, I, like I don't. Play. But I love throwing parties, and we have up to like 500 people will come to this, and they'll play, and the money goes to this program program and we've got awesome prizes I mean Galpin Ford is bringing a truck so like kids can like for the first time give permission to like do graffiti on the truck they get to oh. paint the truck with paint and then they're also bringing a, a car that somebody had has the um, opportunity to win a Mustang and we've got oh my gosh tickets to American Idol and Teen Choice Awards and when is it it's tomorrow tomorrow, oh, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Oh, well, More good. Yeah. And something tells me uh, Bart may be here or at the at the. He Bart will absolutely Bart will be there. look like a fifty-something-year-old woman, but she, he will be there. <laughs> I'll sign autographs and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Well, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Sharing you. your story. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, more information on Nancy and her organization. Be sure to check out our website and check out her organization at happyhouse.org.